Philippians chapter 3, verse 13. And it read, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but the, this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching for under those things which are before, I press toward a mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let me read again, my friend. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching for under those things which are before. What Paul say? I press toward a mark for the prize of the high call of God in Christ Jesus. Forgetting your past. Glory to God. Why you are haunted by your past. When I say why you are haunted by your past. Your past ought to be stepping stone for your present and for your future. What do you say? Your past is building block, like stepped to your present and to your future. Why your past is haunting you? I'm gonna tell you why your past is haunting you. Number one, you're not praying. What? You're not praying to overcome your past. That's number one. Number two, you haven't found your purpose. What? You haven't found your purpose in God. That's why your past is hard to you. And the next thing, you haven't found the presence of God. My friend, you have not, you have not, not prayed. You haven't found your purpose. And you're not in, you not found the presence of God. And the next thing, you haven't found your place in God. My friend, you, you can't let your past haunt you. My friend, you ought to pray because prayer still works. And the reason why your past is haunting you because you have not overcome your past. What is your past? Your past is you're a freak. And you keep on letting your freak creep up on you. My friend, you should be you should be able to, to control your emotion. You should be able to control your horniness. Hey, yes, I said it. And the reason why, because you don't pray. You play, but you don't pray. It's a difference between praying. Praying is communicating with God. And we done, we haven't done that. We talk to everybody, but we don't talk to God. If you got a weakness, if your weakness is sex, if your weakness is witchcraft, if your weakness is manipulation, my friend, you ought to talk to God and say, God, I am weak. David said, what did David say? David said, Lord, have mercy on me according to loving kindness and according to tender mercy. Blot out my transgression. He said, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. He said, take, take this sin away from me. So if, if David were a man of prayer, what about you? And the next thing we got to find, my friend, our purpose. The Bible say, the Bible say, look at the Bible say, the Bible say in Romans, is it Romans? Romans 8, 28. And that's my favorite, that's one of my favorite books. Now I have, I have a lot of favorites in the, in the Bible. But Romans 8, 28, because my birthday is August 8, 28. And the Bible say all things work together for good. The them that love God, the them who are called according to his purpose. But let me say that verse so you can understand what I'm meaning. The Bible says, this is the Bible say, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. So if you don't find your purpose, you will keep on being haunted by your past. The next one I talk about, hallelujah, is the present. The Bible says, the present Lord is the fullness of joy at thy right hand, thy pleasure forevermore. We find pleasure in drugs. We find pleasure in liquor. We find pleasure in going to strip club or to the club. But the pleasure ought to be the presence of God. Because when you find the presence of the Lord, there's a fullness of joy. What do you think I'm so happy? If you're happy and you know it, 
Say amen. Come on. Say amen. Amen. The next one, we're to find our place in God. Glory. The Bible said, the Bible say, the righteous run therein and they are saved. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. But listen, my friend, you gotta find your place in God. Find what, what you're best at. Hey, glory to God. Is your best at encouraging people? Is your best at helping people? What's your best remedy why God call you for the purpose you are at right now? Why your past is haunting you because you don't pray? Come on now, you haven't found your, your purpose. Hey Amen. You haven't found the presence. You haven't found your place. And when you don't find those things, my friend, your past will always haunt you because you don't have, you don't have, you have a void in your life. You have emptiness in your life. And anytime you find emptiness in your life, the Bible says, this is what the Bible says. The Bible says, well, when an unclean spirit leaves a man, he wanted to dry places and seek a rest and find none. He said, I'm going to go back to my, to my, to the first place I came from. And the Bible says, the worst state, the worst state is bad, is greater than the, last, the first state. That means the, the last state is worse than the first. So I'm telling you how to overcome your past. You got to pray. Hey, glory to God. You got to find your purpose. Hey, hallelujah. And you got to find your place in God. The present and the place in God. And if you find those three at peace, my friend, God will bless you. And you can overcome your past. Don't let your past haunt you. Let your past, listen, listen, let your past do these three things, my friend. Amen. There's four H. And I, and I tell the H everywhere I go. If you're hurting, glory to God, your, your past ought to help you. When your past help you, your past ought to heal you. And your past uh, heal you, your past ought to give you hope. What I say, hurt, help, healed, and you get hoped. If your past does those three things, your your past ought to be building blocks. It ought to be a monument in your life. Because Joshua, when he went over Jordan River, he said, take up tall stone as a memorial. What did I say? As a memorial in your life. And I'm telling you, my friend, don't let your past. Well, I say, don't let your past. P A S T. Don't let the the past become your present. Hey, don't let your past become your a your, your acknowledgement. Don't let your your past become the sucker, and don't let the past become your tragedy. My friend, don't let your past haunt you.